Congratulations on your purchase of the versatile, easy to use Millermatic 355 MIG welder. And thanks for choosing Miller. With your Millermatic 355, you can count on years of trouble free welding. We know you're eager to try out your new machine, but before you begin setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Millermatic 355. And remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. To increase mobility, the Millermatic 355 can be mounted on a running gear. To do this, simply set the feet of the welder in the pockets on top of the running gear. Rotate the four latches into the vertical position and tighten thumb screws to secure the running gear to the machine. To remove the machine, reverse the process. Loosen the thumb screws, pull out and rotate the latches to disengage the machine. The Easy Latch running gear is designed with our bottle forward technology to keep the gas cylinder secure and stable when the machine is on or off the running gear. The Easy Latch running gear is designed to support up to a T or 330 cubic foot cylinder. Dual cylinder rack option is available, which allows operator to easily store two gas cylinders. Next, you'll learn to properly set up the Millermatic 355 for MIG and Pulsed MIG for a variety of metal applications. You will also become more familiar with your Millermatic 355 through a quick overview of the machine's key features. Let's begin with a quick overview of the Millermatic 355 features. Your Millermatic 355 comes ready to connect with common 208, 240, 460, 575 volt, three or single phase input power. Consult the owner's manual electrical service guide for proper power hookup, fusing or circuit breaker recommendations. To connect machine to the proper input power, first disconnect input power. Open side door to access the input power selector switch. Insert a flat blade screwdriver into the two pockets on the input switch cover and twist to open. Rotate the switch to the left to link machine for 208 or 240 or position the switch to the right for 460 or 575 volts then close and latch cover. Close the side door and reconnect input power. Power up your machine by turning on the power switch located on the front panel of the machine. Upon power up, the input voltage will appear on the display and during operation the voltage phase is referenced in the top right corner. Now, let's look at the interface, starting with the Auto Set Elite feature. The Auto Set feature makes setup quick and easy. No matter what material you choose, you can use Auto Set Elite to set your Millermatic 355 to the proper welding parameters. First, turn the Auto Set Elite feature on by pushing the Auto Set button. When the Auto Set mode is on, the Auto Set button will illuminate and the process selection information will appear on the bottom of the screen above the buttons. Begin by selecting the wire and gas type being used by using the two left buttons under the material and gas selection. Next, input your wire diameter using the middle button. Then input the material thickness using either of the two buttons on the right. It's just that easy. Auto Set Elite adjusts your machine to a weldable parameter. Auto Set Elite allows you to fine tune your parameters to the precise settings you prefer. Should you choose to fine tune parameters, simply tweak the controls for voltage and wire feed speed. The factory default settings are represented when the bullseye is displayed. By turning Auto Set off, you can operate your machine in manual mode. Use the left knob to control the voltage and the right knob to adjust wire feed speed. When using the manual mode, refer to the electronic parameter chart on the front display for suggested starting parameters. To access the electronic parameter chart, press the middle button labeled P-Chart. 
Next, press the middle button to access wire, gas type, and wire diameter. Rotate left knob to select the wire and gas type being used. Rotate right knob to select wire diameter. Press load to upload information. Next, rotate right knob to select material thickness. Press load to save and start welding. Operators can also customize their weld settings and activate weld timers in the manual mode by pushing the setup button. Refer to setup video or your owner's manual for more information. To help you set up gas and polarity for the machine's multiple options, your Millermatic 355 features an intuitive color LCD screen. The screen will prompt you to use the proper gas type and polarity settings for your process. The LCD screen displays common issues, along with providing prompts for loose or improperly installed cables. Best yet, it's easy. The Millermatic 355 offers understandable word and symbol prompts, not numerical codes you need a manual to interpret. The length of time that this diagram is displayed can be adjusted from disabled to 30 seconds. Access the system video or consult the owner's manual for more information. The Millermatic 355 has pulsed MIG capabilities. Pulsed MIG is a spray transfer that produces less heat input than a conventional weld, resulting in less spatter, warping, and distortion. Pulsed MIG is very popular for MIG welding aluminum. Not all gases will support pulsed MIG. Reference machine setup for recommended pulsed MIG gases. The Millermatic 355 has the capability to save four of your favorite weld settings. To save weld settings to a program, starting from the manual mode, push the Programs button. You will see the four white program tabs above the button. Choose where you would like to save the weld settings. Push and hold that program button you choose for two seconds. Like a car radio, the display will show saved when the program is successfully saved. To recall the program, simply push the program button. The selected program tab will turn blue and the saved settings will be displayed. To increase productivity, the Trigger Program Select feature can be enabled in the system menu. Trigger Program Select allows the operator to change the programs by tapping the trigger to eliminate the need to go back to the machine to change the program when using any MIG, push-pull, or spool gun. Tap the gun trigger the number of times to match the program that you want to select. Tap once to select Program 1. Tap twice to select Program 2. Reference System Setup menu to activate Trigger Program Select. Finally, let's review gas setup requirements. Your Millermatic 355 is designed for external gas cylinders. For this demonstration, we are securing the bottle to the running gear, but it could also be securely fastened to a wall or stationary support. When securing the bottle to the running gear, Set the bottle in the cylinder rack and secure the bottle to the running gear with the safety chain. To attach the gas to your machine, remove the cap and stand to the side of the valve. Open the valve slightly to allow the gas to blow away any dust or dirt from the valve. Install the regulator so that the face is vertical. Then connect the hose to the regulator and tighten with a wrench. Finally, Connect the hose to your machine and tighten with a wrench. When adjusting the flow, remember that a typical flow rate is 20 to 30 CFH. To help train customers or sales personnel, the Millermatic 355 includes a demo mode. The demo mode provides the ability to power the front display to train users in a quiet conference room or showroom versus connecting to shop power in a noisy work environment. Miller offers a demo cable kit that will power the front display through the USB via the supplied 115 volt adapter or a portable charger bank that can be purchased separately.
Now that you've got the basics, let's take a look at the individual setups required for your specific MIG welding applications.